<laughs> Elf, you always make me laugh. What are you doing here? Wait, what is today? Oh, son of a gun. Okay, all right, yeah, here. Yep, here we go. Look at the magic. Look at the beautiful magic happening. Yep, yep. Everything was already out there. Look at the magic. Yep, beautiful magic. Okay, what else do we need? Yep, yep, beautiful magic. It's all just appearing right there in front of you. Yes, okay. Uh, magic. Poof. Magic. Yeah, um, okay. Thanks for joining me for another video. As you can see, today I'm going to make... Oh, you little... We're going to make adobo spice. I kind of mentioned it in one of the other videos. So, um, after I catch my breath, let's get with mixing. Okay. Oh, magic didn't quite send the fork over here. There! Poof! Magic! Oh, gosh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me think real hard. Okay, let's start off with two tablespoons of salt. Poof, magic. Yeah. Okay, so two tablespoons of salt. Like I said, it magically appeared in the in the bowl. And then we're going to uh, need one tablespoon of paprika. Ooh, that might have been a little much. There we go, all good. Okay, uh -huh. and then we're going to magically need two teaspoons of black pepper. Okay, and then next, we're going to need one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. And then, what's that? You say we need one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano? All right. All right. Oh. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. Cumin, cumin, garlic powder, chili Oh, right there. <laughs> My bad. I'm only cumin. <laughs> One teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of chili powder. And like I said before, truthfully, your seasoning is only going to be as good as the spices you put in. So always use good spices. Don't buy the cheap Walmart stuff. The only one I would say that probably doesn't pertain to would be salt. 
I mean, you know, check and see what you need. I mean, for certain applications, yeah, it's different, but, you know, the white salt's just white salt. I mean, you may not have to, or be able to have iodized or something like that, but beyond that, just get the salt. If you're doing a steak or something, you want special salt, pink Himalayan's good. That's what I like to use. But for most of this stuff, I just go ahead and use the regular salt. All right. That's it. Okay. Let me magically... Mix this together for you. And yes, usually I'll put this in the jar and mix it. Um, but I kind of want to get this mixed because I'm going to add it to I have a little bit left over from the last time I made it. Now, this, depending on what uh, onion powder and stuff you use, my onion powder is really powdery. You see how it poofs up there? Um, so it'd be very successful to moisture. So this stuff may get a little clumpy. Just smack around a little bit, put a fork in there, a knife. It'll break it right back up. Especially when I'm putting it on, like, as I'm cooking. It'll kind of get quite a bit of that in there. And that's all there is to it. Dobo spice. Um... Uh, it's a lot like a taco seasoning, but it does have a little bit different spice to it. Um, if you want to liven it up a little bit, add some red pepper flakes, maybe even some jalapeno. All right. Well, we got off to a rough start. Um, with everything going on, I guess I forgot what day it was. So, but I think it ended well. Um, I mean, you don't have to pick all this stuff up and put it away, but... Alright, thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one.